Viewer discretion advised. Welcome back to Couch Co-op. Welcome back to Couch Co-op. I think I figured something out. Why would you do? I locked my phone. I didn't let the uh... screen... I didn't simply let the screen time out. I hit the lock button. So it stopped it. So it stopped the timer, yeah. Oh... That sucks. The more you know. Yeah. Oh. So, all I have to do is... I'm gonna come in here. I need to become a bee, grab the Jinjo, Because he's fucking retarded and he- Oh! No, 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 no! <laughs> Did you die? Well... Oh, you fell. Well, that could have worked out much better. You know, you'd think that I'd learned by now to, you know... There's not a, fall? Yeah, not fall. Oh good, the timer's still counting, so I didn't mess it up this time. Sweet. Good. I'm really glad that, you know, we've, we've found our, like, our formula, our, our style, our, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and we found it, I want to say we found it quickly, but we really didn't. Mm -mm. Um, we knew what we wanted to do, we've just been really pushing ourselves to Get make there. it how we wanted it. Yes. Like, we've always known how we wanted it to be, because we've been doing this... Forever. ...by ourselves forever. So, that really helps. It really helps simply just, you know, push ourselves to get... to figure out what we do whenever we're on the couch, just chilling. You know? Mm-hmm. I love it. I like this. I really like this. This is nice. This is fun. This is the fattest fucking bee. Yep. So that's all I needed to do was just become a bee to get that. Like. Did you have to use more um, tokens? No. Okay. Nope, it's a one and done purchase, mm -hmm. thank god. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, how do you get in the hive as Banjo? You can't, I just tried. I know, I saw that. So I have no idea how you get so in there. So then, do you just wait? Could you wait? Until, like, keep going back to the hive every season, see what happens. Oh, you know what? Probably. Like, maybe you have to do it in winter or something. Oh, like, yeah, like when the hive would probably, like, be dead. Yeah, or, or like, summer whenever everything's, like, hot and melted and stuff. Oh, that's a good idea. Go check that out. I got my ass kicked so hard in summer, so... So since we have to get five jigsaw pieces, I'm just going to try to my best to get as much in here as possible. Yeah, I so would. Might as well. There's no reason not to. Yeah, that way... Yeah, that's what I would do. <laughs> oh, it keeps the... the... caterpillars that I picked up. <sighs> well, that's nice. How many more do you need? You got like two or three of them. Yeah, I think I picked up two. I need three more, I think. And I gotta let this guy back in. Yay. And I gotta grab those, and then I gotta come back and like fall. Yeah, fall because in winter it's all iced over. Yeah. So I'm thinking, I know what I'm gonna do tomorrow when I'm up in Springfield. What's that? I'm gonna after I turn in that paper thing, I'm just gonna hang around town. Probably gonna go to the mall, check out um, Tivana, see what shape that's in. Ooh, yeah. Find some like 
discounted tea, probably. If it's still there. Or if anything's on clearance yet. Fuck! So... Oh my god. Fucking... Fuck! Probably do that and hang around the mall for a bit. Um, depending on how I'm feeling, maybe eat something somewhere. Uh, maybe get Starbucks. Just make a day out of it. Yeah. Pretty much. And like I said, I'm, I asked everyone and no one can go with me, so... Like I said, if I didn't work, buddy, I'd go with you. Yeah, I know. But, you know, work's a bitch. Yes, it is. Need to make that money. Make it you don't have to, but... Like I said the other night, I'm really glad that Ron got a full-time job at the health department. Yeah, that's awesome. Good for him. And he'll be out of here uh, January 2nd. He was kind enough to stay through Christmas. Oh, that is really nice of him. Which, if we, if he had left, because he had every right to just say, you know, fuck this place, I'm done. But he decided to be nice and stay through Christmas, which is really going to help so much. Yeah, because that's your busiest time. Yep. And Brittany was just like, so do you want to work on Christmas? And Ron's like, no. Even if you schedule me, I will not be in. I don't blame <laughs> him if he's if he's already no. got the job. I know. Maybe not Christmas. Uh, New Year's. She, no. was, she was like, do you want to work New Year's, New Year's Eve or New Year's Day? And he's like, nope. You can schedule me all you want. I won't be here. <laughs> I don't blame him one bit. No. Especially when he starts the health department the second. Yeah. So, yeah, no, fuck that. There you go, we need to get him to be our one of our hype men. Yeah, I worked on his back. He pulled something um, one day at work and he came to me and he was just like, you know, what What do I do? So, I kind of gave him a quick uh, quick massage real quick. And it, he, it re he said it really helped him so much. So yeah, that would be, he would be a hype man that I would definitely target. And with him working, 
I don't know how ethical it would be, but with him working as a counselor, he could always refer some of his patients to me. Again, I don't know how ethical that would be. It would not be ethical at all. But who says you need to... Who says good ethics makes money? Well... That's business 101. <laughs> if you want to make money, you need to throw away all your ethics. But really, I mean, it wouldn't be violating any kind of HIPAA thing. Cause no. Because... I would just be like, hey, I know a guy who, you know, you're really stressed. I know a guy who works, who does massage. I can, you know, point you in his direction, see what he can do for you. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be unethical. It just, I don't know. It'd be kind of shady. Yeah, a little bit. But, I mean, I can't because I don't even have my license or anything. So, I, you know, I just can't work on anyone. But hopefully within a year you should have your license. No, because I have to go to school. Well, I mean, like... You would have your license after that year, wouldn't you? Mm, yeah. So yeah, within a year you should have your license. Within a year of starting to go to school, yeah. Yeah. But I need like ten thousand dollars to go to school. Oh yeah, because you, because your financial aid is very. <laughs> no! So glad you didn't land on that Venus flytrap. Can I kill this thing? Can it die? Can you die? No. How do I kill you? Well. Well, fuck. I need HP. Bad. This level's fucking... This level's <laughs> not even hard, it's just the fact that I'm just so bad because I keep falling. And then you have these fucking bees. Being dicks. I'm sorry I broke your home, but I need food, okay? <laughs> Winnie the Pooh is my hero. I mean, I learned everything from him. Fuck off. But let me see if I can find that Facebook post. Hell yeah. Oh, fuck. Let's see. How are we doing on time? Got like eight and a half minutes left. Oh, damn. Search. No raids. Yes. Is he related to a Grant Rhodes? I have no idea. I went to school with a Grant Rhodes. The name just sounds familiar as all. Well. Oh, they've already released um, a thing for... It too. Yeah. Wait, a trailer? No, just the poster. Oh. I'm looking forward to that. Holy shit. What? 28 comments already. Oh, hey, you were right. Look at it. You can get in here during uh, summer. Oh. The honey bear, he's after Grunty's golden honey piece. Oh god. Hardest boss in the game. <laughs> oh, those bees? They are mm -hmm. pissed. Oh my god! Oh my god, if I die! If I... Okay. There we go. So I was I was I was slightly wrong. Uh it wasn't just uh Ron having fun with it, Matt was hanging him on. Oh really? Yeah, so it was Matt and Ron being stupid. So never mind. They were both being equally dumb. Oh. Oh, damn it, I locked my phone. Oh, no. So let's see what that did to the timer. So I just realized the only reason to become a bee in springtime is yeah. so you can get the, the pink ginjo and the honeycomb. Oh, really? Because he's not there during summer. Oh. Uh, okay, so I did not fuck up the timer. Oh, good. So now I gotta go back to spring after I get out of here to go get the pink ginjo. I've already got everything in that house, I'm pretty sure. 
this is where I fucking almost killed myself, but it's, 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 it's nothing, it's fine. Nothing back here? Okay. Until the camera decides to be like, oh, I want to be over here now. Yeah, there's no fucking lie. Here's one good thing I like about Metroid is there is no camera. You just go left or right, yeah, up or down. That's true. The camera faces dead on. Oh, did I tell you that they just recently remade the second Metroid? Uh, yeah, you did. On the 3DS? Yep. You should pick it up. If you're no. such a big Metroid fan, pick it up. Here's pretty good. No, I'm sure it is, but I'm sure it's a lot of redundant, because I already have the second one, and oh. I don't want to waste money on buying a remake. I'm not even going to buy the remake of the first one. Zero Mission. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot they did that. Yeah, I'm just going to play the... I'm just going to play them, and then that'll be it. I have no desire to play the remakes. Just because I already have and I've played the originals. So, so but... why play the remake? Yeah, yeah. I feel you. I mean, I'm a Metroid fan, but I'm not like hardcore have to have every game Metroid fan, you know? Right. I gotcha. The only reason why I played the remake of Tomb Raider is because it was included in the bundle I bought. The entire franchise was like so much off on Steam, so I just bought all of them. Oh, okay. And it came bundled with the remake. And the remake of Tomb Raider 1 is really good. Is it? Yes. So I'm sure the remake of Metroid is just as good. I'm just not going to get it. There's no need to get it, though. Like you said, you've already played and beaten it, so you're not gonna, you're not gonna get anything new. Yeah. Toucan Sam was pissed off. <laughs> Dude, I'll tell you what, they give you so many fucking mumbo tokens. Do they? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. <sighs> you gotta get five more. You gotta get there's ten caterpillars. Yeah. In summer. You gotta get them because he'll wake up and you gotta get them again and feed him and fall. Then he becomes an eagle. Mm. See, because everything's brown and it looks like it's dying, I think this is fall. Oh, yep, nope. So the game developer is saying that summer sucks? I think so. <laughs> I, I'm full. Everything is brown and dying and just too hot to do anything. I must say, I'm in full agreement. I hate summer. Yeah. And I hate winter. I'd much rather be in spring or fall year-round. Yeah, fall right now is pretty good. It makes really great sleeping weather. Yeah, it does. So, my neighbors that live right next to me. Uh huh. Uh, they have a little window unit. And they have it on all the time. Oh, really? Like yesterday, even though it was 60 degrees outside and it felt amazing, mm -hmm. they still had their AC on. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'll admit, my AC runs quite a bit, but it's just... I don't know. I just forget it's on. But I always set it up to a point where it won't run. What do you mean? Like, you can set your AC to a... Like, to where it will only run if it drops below, like, if it gets to a certain degree. Well, yeah, I knew that. So, like, just set it high enough to where it won't turn on. That's what I usually do. Yeah, but they have their window unit on. Like, it's on and it's running and it never shuts off. Oh, that's right. Even though it's 60 degrees outside, they still have it on. And they still have it running. That's right, because it's not central air. That's right. That makes sense. So, am I finished here and fall? Oh, I'm gonna fall. <sighs> it's a good thing you keep up on your life. Yeah, I'm pretty good at that. You're also <laughs> really good at falling. I'm very good at falling. Speaking of keeping up my life, remember uh, that one Magic the Gathering game we played? Magic, uh, my Life Glow Moth or whatever? Yeah. Golden Glow Moth deck? Yeah. That was fucking great. Was oh, I won man. by like three HP because you couldn't kill me yeah. ever. It was pretty epic, even though it was years ago. Oh yeah, I still remember that. Me too. I also remember that game when we played with Wesley and she wanted to punch the fuck out of my brother because yeah. he played Ice Cage on her yep. monster. Out of a... Uh, yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't really talk to her anymore. I try to text her every now and then, but she just doesn't respond. Oh, yeah. That's Wesley. Yep. Oh, well. But I knew you had a heart on for like, for like ever. Oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> it's time to end this episode of Coach Co-op. <laughs> See everyone later. <laughs>